Today, we have the 2021-2022 Panini NFT Blockchain NBA Prism Green Ice Parallel Pack. Our odds in these packs are one base, one green ice parallel, two blue wave parallels, one pulsar card, one other card. Uh, it's kind of, you know, left up in the air. The pack cards are a 75th anniversary diamond parallel one and two packs. Those are pretty good odds, I gotta say. Either one prism base or one prism 75th anniversary parallel to 75. So I've got a lot of big hopes. Um, I don't know who I'd like to see most. You know, I've got a lot of throwback cards. I guess like a, if, they, if they have them, throwback Jordan would be amazing. Rare, rare, uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. Ooh, I'm liking these odds. Uh, first common we start off with is Gary Payton. <laughs> That's exciting. I got his card literally just today. Another one. All right. <laughs> 136 out of 1,000. That's uh, nice. All right. Next are uncommon. We got DeAndre Jordan. Not the Michael Jordan I was looking for, but, you know, can't, can't complain, I guess. Can't. 255 out of 499. Uh, it's an interesting Nets jersey. Next, we have Sharif Cooper from the Atlanta Hawks rookie card, 251 out of 499. All right, we're starting a little slow. Rare, rare, uncommon. Where to start? Um, I'm going to go with the uncommon. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got a Rajan Rondo, 90 out of 299. Pulsar, not a bad. Now we got a rare and a rare. I got to go with this one. Ooh, nice rookie card. Trey Mann, 2084 out of 99. All right. Not bad. Now for our last card, um, got high hopes. Uh, if it's, uh, you know, I asked for the throwback and I got another Gary Payton. So I don't even know what to ask for. Uh, <laughs> so hope for, I don't know. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Okay, we got a diamond car, 55 out of 75, the Lando Brandon. Okay, not bad. Need another rookie car. Time to grow. Uh, I guess another thing I'd like to speak about uh, today, we, I was watching this gentleman, Mr. Phil DeFranco. Uh, apologies for stopping this at a, an opportune moment. But he had three important questions, which I kind of want to address. Uh, one, who were you before the pandemic? Um, I guess someone who used to collect. I didn't, you know, really keep up with it but i was really excited and after the pandemic i got more into it so it's pretty nice pretty fulfilling what important lesson have you learned from panini now i've waited so long for someone to ask and i know it hasn't been that long but it, it feels like it's been a long time so the most important thing i found about from panini is that they have a system where you can go right in here once you have your cards and put them automatically on for a uh, gallery so we're gonna come in here go to blockchain Uh, key collection, blockchain, public auctions, public gallery. Come to public gallery. Now they don't allow you to see the cards by person because I mean, you know, why? I mean, not by the seller. Why would you? It's not like there's a store. This is a Panini marketplace. But you come down here, and when you have the cards, you see the one that you like. Let's say, and I'm. This is not going to be random. I'm literally going to go for a card that I have on the market. Let's say we want a James Wiseman. Um, we come in here, you know, fair player, we can see all these stats. Now, what's really cool is they have the top sales, recent sales, average sales, how many are still in unclaimed packs. There's five still out there somewhere. So if you guys want to try and find them yourself, you're more than welcome to. When you come down here, you see the floor price. That's how much some, the cheapest that someone has it listed for. Now you come in here, uh, you can see all the different users. Uh, right here is my card, number 35 out of 99. I have it listed for 300, Chance the Ripper. I thought at first I was being a little uh, garish, but then I see the pro me, they have it for $1,888. So maybe I'm a uh, low ball on it here. I don't know. Below me is 77 NFTs. I don't know if that's the number of NFTs he has, or if he's 70, born in 1977, maybe 77 years old. I'm not exactly sure what his deal is, but he has it listed for 125, card number 6999. Now you can come to offer or buy them here because it's my card. I can just click right there and view details. It opens up, you can see the rare card. Uh, I have it set for 300 and it's auto declining any offers below 150. So 
if I had to say, and again, all the metrics are down here. If I had to say what I learned most from Panini, it's that this marketplace is here. It's open. And um, yeah, it's pretty exciting. You don't even have to get them graded. You can just go and put them straight here. Now, the last question he has is who you become because of the pandemic. Now, if I had to say, I probably would still be myself, but I'm hoping that I can become someone that can find others who care for these cards as much as I do monetarily and transfer them to a new loving home. Uh, I don't know if that's you. I don't know if that's anyone. Could be no one. And I don't know if I'll ever part with these because I, I kind of get greedy when people do make offers. That's why I make my uh, buy nows a little exorbitant. So if you guys like any cards or you want to find any cards of your own, please feel free. I hope everyone has a good time. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good night.